lean back. When you're coming up, you pull yourself forward. You pull yourself forward, lean back. Pull yourself forward, lean back. So you're like a pendulum. It's exactly the same in here. So the first thing we're going to work on is when you're on the back, of, when you're going down the bump, push your butt back. So you're coming up the bump, come forward. And I'll show you what that looks like slowly. A little pound of work. Make some sense? I'll be right back. The butt back. You guys kind of feel the bikes going back and forth? So try. So, get, so this is what we'll do. We'll take turns. Get your speed in here. Once you get in the bumps, please don't sit down because your butt will just get hit. That's no fun. And stand on both pedals evenly. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Right? Watch, watch Chris. You know, he's super relaxed. And when he wants to come over one of these rollers or pump it or pump into a corner, Notice how low he gets, and he doesn't get low. See my knees on my feet? He, you'll never see Chris get low like this in his, in his quads. You'll always see him get low like this through his hips, like he's sitting in a chair. Right? Yeah. And I also wanted to add to what they were saying in the beginning. Um, well, when you're riding cross country, you're out on a trail, even riding downhill, it's rare that you're going to come across man-made stuff like this, you know, berms and especially rollers. But the reality of it is, is you get used to pumping and learning how to gyrate to accelerate off obstacles like these. When you get back out onto the trail and you start seeing natural hillsides that you know make natural rollers or rocks or roots, you can start applying some of the same skills that you're using out here to learn how to gyrate to gain speed onto natural features. Or and to maintain control. Yeah, you, you not only maintain control and ride safer, but also you'll gain speed. And while it might seem counterintuitive you know, to a cross-country race, obviously you want to be first at the same time. There's a lot of energy preservation that goes into it so that you can sustain a certain speed throughout the whole race. And when you learn how to accelerate off of natural obstacles on the trail, you'll be making up space over people that are pedaling while you're just taken back and riding relaxed and gaining as you pump. So it's definitely a critical skill and it's really cool that you guys have this opportunity to have this here. It's gonna make you guys a lot better riders when you get back out onto the trail. So yeah, enjoy, have fun. The first time I ever rode with Chris on real trail, like. He's not much for long climbs, so he, you know, he kind of lagged. But on the downhills, oh my gosh, he showed me what was up. Like, he was pumping everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End the demo. <laughs> you guys catch that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah.